hi this is carolina's editor popping in to drop a little disclaimer i'm very excited for you to watch this but here's the catch i filmed with my selfie camera and it looks like i'm not looking at the camera so that's kind of annoying also the audio might be a bit off the background might be a bit off everything might be a bit off about this video i haven't filmed a youtube video in quite a bit of time so just bear with me i'm gonna get better at it see i'm looking at the camera but it looks like i'm looking somewhere else but i'm looking at the camera but I have to look there if I wanna look at the camera. You know what I mean? Anyways, thank you for watching this. I will look at the camera and thank you for being here. <laughs> So welcome to my first ever thrift haul on YouTube. I recently watched someone else's thrift haul on YouTube and I'm like, I should do a thrift haul. Let me just chop that off real quick. Nowhere. And it's like in front of your eyes at all times but yesterday it wasn't there i didn't just go to the store yesterday bought a bunch of stuff and i'm showing them to you now this was like multiple trips multiple stores multiple days so just keep that in mind so i'm gonna shut up and let's come on first things first i got this cheese board it's all marble including the knives this was 14 dollars marble is very expensive so whenever i see marble i buy marble i didn't have a cheese board i didn't have a marble board so this was very convenient. If you would find this stuff at like a kitchen, accessory, kitchen, whatever store, this would be over, I would say over $60 for sure. But yeah, look at that. Next up, if you follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me rave about my pepper mill. And guess what? I found another one. You basically put whole peppercorns in there and then you grind them. And it's like the cutest thing to bring to the table and you're like, Amazing. It was probably a dollar. It was very, very cheap, but it's so cute. Hi, it's Carolina's editor popping in. I broke my pepper mill. I'll insert the footage because everything's on camera because I was filming for a video. I broke my pepper mill. Get your bowl. You don't have to get in. Get your bowl. You don't have to get in. Oh no, it's broken. Let's see if this one works. So I'm going in. This one doesn't work? Is this why they threw it away? What a disappointing night. Next up, I have some stainless steel bowls. I didn't have any small ones and I really needed small ones. I use these at all times. If you're looking to buy these for your new apartment, you just moved into a new place, your cabinets are empty and you need stainless steel bowls, don't you dare purchase these brand new because you can always find them at thrift stores. I didn't have any when I moved here. I'm gonna show you how many I have now. I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Uh, next up, we have this wooden platter slash cutting board from Goodwill. It was $2. I'm not a fan of curated thrift shops, vintage, whatever. I prefer to search for this stuff on my own instead of paying like $30 for a thrifted item. That's just me. If you want to shop at curated places, you do you. This happens to be Dansk, made in Denmark and everything. And I Googled it and it's actually $75. People are charging $75 for this. So it's a really good find for two bucks. I have another cutting board. This was 50% off, so it was $3.5. It's chunky, it's thick. I don't care how many of these I have, I will always find a use for them. I have this tiny little plate, it's really cute, it was 75 cents. I thought it could be a cute little prop for pictures or videos. Like imagine my face is a steak or a burger or something. You could put this up here, like half of it would show in the picture. I feel like these little holes would add something to the picture. I don't know, I felt like it was a good prop thing. It was very cheap. So I got it. Next up, I got this green bowl. It was from Goodwill. It was $2. I like the color, but what I liked most about it, the rim here is like a funfetti, confetti, sprinkly, sprinkles pattern. Again, it would add something extra to the picture. Plus the color is gorgeous. I have another bowl, a dollar from Goodwill. It actually still has the original tag on it. Like you can tell this wasn't used at all. The fun part about this, I saw this online at their actual store and it was 45 bucks. So that's a steal. I have these two tall glasses. I'm not sure if you're able to tell 
but they don't go up straight they go in an angle i thought they would just look cute if i want to make a cocktail or a nice coffee for a video or something they are from goodwill two dollars each except i have this very interesting terracotta cooking device it was four dollars at goodwill it was made in italy it's from the 70s i just thought it was interesting i haven't used it yet the truth is i have an electric stove and i hate electric stoves because they're so delicate like you move a pan from one side to the other side and your stove is already cracked so i'm not sure if me cooking with this on an electric stove is a great idea but i'll keep you posted on this because it's very interesting I also thrifted this whiteboard. I feel like these are the second best thing after an iPad when it comes to organizing stuff. I always write my ideas on paper, but it's not very helpful because I lose the paper, so then I lose my ideas. And I feel like I can't really lose this. Plus it was $4, which is very cheap in my opinion. It's a really big whiteboard too. It's like, it's a big whiteboard. Next up, I found these glasses at TJ Maxx. So they're not thrifted, but I got them in the clearance rack because one of them was broken, so I only got three, but this is what they look like. They were $8 total for three. I think the main reason I got these was because of the brand. These are the glasses we used to have at the last restaurant I worked at. They're super delicate. They're very expensive. I feel like a box of these is like $50 to $60. Like a five-star restaurant. I used to polish the crap out of these. I remember we had like a private wine tasting for 45 people. And we had six wines. So we had to polish six times 45 glasses, which is close to 300 glasses. And I remember bringing these boxes out so we could polish them so that's why i saw this brand and i was like oh yeah i remember polishing these bad boys for a living anyways really cool glasses our next item is this camping chair and just bear with me this is like one of the most comfortable things i've ever sat on you just lay down and swing like are you kidding me i usually put a blanket in here and I just watch YouTube videos where I edit my videos or like look at that. It's like a hammock Who came up with this? Whoever came up with this is a genius. Like look at how comfortable I am. This is like an adult swing It's so fun and it's so relaxing. I could fall asleep here. And this was 12 or 20 bucks I can't remember but it retails for $50. But look at me. I'm so relaxed I bet this is what babies feel like in their mother's arms. Are you kidding me? This is so comfortable. I'm pretty sure this is in like my top 10 best thrifted items ever. I would buy 10 of these. They're so fun and I've never seen them anywhere. Like, why are these for camping? Why don't you make one for a living room? You know what I mean? Next up, I thrifted three of these bad boys. The color caught my eye. I'm like, wow, that's a very beautiful color. So I kind of want to get them just for the sake of getting them. They were $8 each. But then, your girl checked the back of these and they are from the 1950s. They're made in California. They're made by this very famous brand that I've never heard about. So if they're looking retro, it's because they are very, very retro. I'm no reseller, but if someone wants to pay me 10 grand for these chairs, I will sell them to you. I'm not even kidding. I've seen some people online sell these for like some thousands of dollars. But they're cool. They're really, really pretty and comfortable. They're so comfortable. It's amazing. And last but not least, Pièce de Résistance. Not one espresso machine but two espresso machines. This one retails for $700. I got it for a little over a hundred. And this one retails for 200 and I got it for $11. Here's the catch though. This one's a little past its prime time, but you know what? It still pulls espresso shots and they're still pretty good. So I'm happy with this. I think the funny part about buying these was that I found both of them on my way out after I paid for what I already found. And this was separate days, separate stores, but I paid for my stuff and then I see this one in the original box. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute. The only thing about that one, it was missing a port filter which I ordered online. This stuff is so expensive, like, oh my goodness. And then I was like, I don't have to order this separately because I already have this coffee basket from the previous machine that fits in here. But guess what? This fits 
It's just you can't lock it in. So I have to order this one separately, which is like 20 bucks for this. Like, okay. But so far it looks good. I'm, I'm feeling hopeful. So I'll keep you posted on that. But I'm very happy with a $100 coffee machine anyways i'll keep you posted on that coffee machine this was a lengthy haul i'm out of breath from lifting these coffee machines i am very weak here's the coffee machine you get the porta filler and then you pop it in there oh. hello sir sorry no oh my goodness i don't have anything to like press it down so i'm just using this jar Beautiful. Here we go. Okay, take your time. For a first shot in a very dirty machine, it works. Do you hear that? Do you hear that? Um, are we okay, sir? Um, uh, never mind. I was out of water. Thank you for watching this thrift haul. Let me know which item was your favorite. I think my favorite is the $700 espresso machine. This is quite a find. And especially if it works, I'm going to be the happiest person ever. Don't forget to subscribe on my YouTube channel. I'll try to post a little bit more often on here. I also have another thrift haul with clothing I bought. I felt like keeping them separate would be healthy for both of us because this was way too much stuff in one video. So I'll do another one. So don't forget to subscribe, turn on the notification, to share it, like it, you know what to do. And I'll see you next time.